So Trisha, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation, the importance of networking. Your network is your net worth. That's how I found my first job. I knew someone who knew someone they were hiring. They just put my resume on top of each other because the recruiter trusted this person and the rest was on me in, in terms of preparing and doing the interview. Absolutely. But still, and again, I tell this to my students at the university, the whole time you're at the university, the only thing that you can do is network, build seats, build those relationships because you don't know from now till three years where, where your job will be. Even as we talk, like I network also because I don't know what's going to happen for the future. So how can we tell the new immigrants or international students they are not used to this networking? Like, what am I going to do? Like, And they're not seeing like from now till six months how these seeds will grow. So how can we convince these people? Yeah. So the thing with networking, especially if you're in a new environment, if you're in a new country, yeah. if you are not someone that is going to walk up to a stranger and say, hey, my name is Trisha. <laughs> um, it is an easy thing to start with interest where you feel confident. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're, you know, a computer programmer, you're new to the US and you're like, I'm trying to make some connections. Maybe you don't go to a, a huge conference right out of the gate. Maybe see if there are some smaller communities that are aligned with your interest yeah. and start there. You know, at least, you know, going in that there is going to be, you know, some commonalities, some mm -hmm. similarities. You'll be able to kind of talk the language and yeah. make some connections that way. Um, another thing that you could do to start to dip your toe in the water and LinkedIn yeah. is great for this. For sure. Is online communities like if yeah. you know that you're going to be relocating somewhere you can kind of start doing some of that that work on the front end before you even get to your destination with the wonderful world of the internet and yes. things like linkedin and different online communities and things like that so you can start kind of building gradually and then once you get here you can maybe start following up on some mm -hmm. of those works or some of those yeah. connections um, and then the other thing with networking is following up, follow yeah. up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Yeah. If we had more time, I would say follow up five more times. <laughs> because it is so key. Yeah, We're all busy individuals. We get busy. We forget. Sometimes you need to send someone a note and say, hey, just following up. Oh, I hadn't yeah. heard back from you. And that's fine. Sometimes yeah. you'll get a response back and it's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. The week, you know, just kind of got away from me. Let's schedule some time or, Hey, shoot me a note in this time frame, and we can, you know, circle back. Oh, nice. or follow up. Exactly. Yeah. So follow up, follow up, follow up is, is key. Yeah. I tell my clients or the students I'm helping is that when you're going to any event or during COVID time, it was online, identify three people or try to make three connections. Right. And it's easy. And, don't ask about the weather or anything political or anything. So I, I tell them, ask them, what's your intent from attending this event? What do you want to learn? Is it just networking? Is it free food? Is it somewhat regular? And then that's a kind of a breaking ice. And then I feel that over food, people will most likely talk about, right? And again, the follow-up is important. I tell them, you know, put on your calendar so let's say we connected today. Three days from now, put a calendar. I will send a reminder. And maybe after that, after four days, put another reminder or maybe follow up one more time. Do you think three times is okay or it all depends? Yeah, I think three times, like just as a general rule, yeah. three works. Um, I think you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt based on the interaction. Yes you had with someone so you know you might have person a where you guys just had a very surface level conversation you didn't really make too strong of a connection mm -hmm. you exchange information versus person b where you know you maybe gave them a rundown of what your background looks like you learned some information about them found out yeah. some additional commonalities mm -hmm. that one you may want to try to spend a little bit yeah. more time versus this other person. But after you've done your, you know, three follow-ups, give it a little bit of time. Yeah. If you've added them to your LinkedIn, you can see where they're active, see where they're yeah. moving. And instead of maybe sending a note, 
maybe get into the conversation via a comment or right. tap in something where, oh, I remember this from our conversation. This may be something yeah. they might be interested in. Yeah. And then that way you might supercharge yeah. and get that conversation going yeah. again. And I also tell them when you're sending a network or a LinkedIn request, customize, you know, hi, Trisha, we met at this event. We had a good conversation. I'm following up with you. Another thing you can also do is that in the comment section or the activities, you can comment what they've done and they will get a notification. You're kind of preparing or researching this person and they will get, okay, this person is genuinely interested in building a relationship so that you can have that conversation, but don't ask them for a job. A lot of times I get network, I get LinkedIn requests. And sometimes I have the feeling, okay, either they're going to sell me something or <laughs> automatically, hi, this is my resume. Can you help me? Yeah. It's like, we need to build a relationship. Then I can help, right? You cannot just automatically knock someone's door and ask for a coffee or a tea and like, who are you? How, why should I help you? Right? Yeah. Because people help when they trust yeah yeah and i don't know what kind of job you want you know yeah. you could be thinking this i could be thinking this yeah those are great tips thank you trisha again for the audience if you have any other tips for networking leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with trisha mm -hmm.